This is Eagle Al, and let's get straight into it, man. Let's get straight into it. My guy, Victor Williams. Victor Williams uh, from the Philly Pod. He wrote an article today, which I really liked the article. It was about Jalen Carter. Uh, who was Jalen Carter mentor? Who was the guy that led Jalen Carter in a positive direction? You know who it was. It was Jordan Davis. Jordan Davis was Jalen Carter's mentor. It makes sense, and I'm going to go ahead and break down the article. Also, before I get into the article, shout out Howie Roseman, man. Shout out Howie Roseman, man. The best GM in the league. The best. But, um, yeah, let me get into this article. And it was something Adam Schefter said, and he quoted. So, um... One second, getting it up on my phone, and I'm gonna go ahead and post it right here for you guys. It said, If Carter's red flags prove too troublesome, he could slide to the Eagles at number 10th pick or number 10th overall, I should say. Philadelphia typically stay away from players with poor reputations, quite. Carter's quite literally goes against every principal GM Howie Roseman stands for. But they have one ace at their disposal. Former Georgia teammate Jordan Davis. And this is quoted from Adam Schefter. When you talk to people around that Georgia program, they say that one guy may be the one guy. That kept Jalen Carter in line was Jordan Davis. When he's when he was around Jordan Davis, he was on some he was on some of his best behavior. Philly will have an advantage bringing Carter to Philly and have Jordan Davis as that guy that could help out there. Sorry about my reading. Um, but yeah, man, uh, Jordan Davis, Jordan Davis. Is the revealed mentor of Jalen Carter. That's why you, you, I would say about two years ago, per se, you didn't really hear nothing negative about Jalen Carter, like what he was doing off the field, um, him being reckless. Could it be because the draft coming up and they want his stock to fall? Certain teams, sure. Or could it because be because Jordan Davis is not there? He don't have that mentor. It's kind of running free and running wild not trying to disrespect them as a man but if you're a young man don't got that mentor there especially if you really need that and you the star nobody can tell you what to do that's a lot of bad what well, equations formulas it, it, it just don't work star personality probably a little off but you had a guy to guide you. But now that guy to guide you is in the NFL doing his own thing, got his own stuff to worry about. Yeah, it kind of, you know, leads you down a wrong path, possibly. But I, I honestly think the Jordan Davis thing is a bit overblown. It's not like he's knocking dudes out in bars and stuff like that. To me, he got a car problem. He got a car problem of speeding, young stuff. But one of the speeders led to death. It led to death. Allegedly due to racing. So, like I say, I, I think that, that stuff is overblown. But then when you combinate that with gaining nine pounds, looking bad at the combine, really couldn't finish, well, couldn't finish your drill. And the one knock on Jordan Davis, he got the moves, he got the power, the speed as a defensive tackle. The one knock on him. It's his motor. And if you're gaining weight and stuff like that, imagine we sign you to $22, $25 million deal. What, what Like if span that within four to five years and we want to give you an extension, your, your career is going to be gone by then because you don't take care of your body. Bad enough, we got to deal with the off-field issue. So it's probably a lot of stuff like that going through teams' mind. Is Jalen Carter a risk to me? Absolutely. Because he's a boom more bust. No one's got those boom more bust players in the draft. But if he boom, he's it. But if he busts, pause. It's, it's, that, that's not good. It's not good, man. 
But hey, man, what do you think of how do you feel, man, about Jalen Carter? I always, I always say this, and I've been saying this since Jalen Carter entered the draft. As much as the Eagles need Jalen Carter, the skill set doesn't really matter in our system if he get gas early or not, because we're gonna rotate a lot anyway. Jalen Carter needs the Eagles. He needs that mentorship. He need those guy, those guys in the locker room. Jordan Davis, Jalen Hurts on the offensive side, Brandon Graham in your ear, Fletcher Cox in your ear. Uh, I'm pretty sure Josh Sweat is probably up and coming to be one of those guys. And then, of course, you got the Slay in the building. And you got a lot of guys that can mentor. Howie Roseman, upper management, can help him out. So, yeah, man, as much as we need him, I think he need us. But, hey, man, what do you think of how do you feel about Jalen Carter? I, I, I think he need the Eagles. As If we get past the Seahawks, Eagles got to find a way. We got to find a way to get this man in green. But this is Eagle Al. I'm out.